Welcome back to Keterific Journey. I'm Mike. We're going to make an egg pizza. Stick around. You might find out how to do it and see that it tastes good. You never know. So I've got my pan heating up for this. The egg pizza, you could call it a frittata if you want to, but it's going to be a pizza style. I've got ghee in there, and I did not bore y'all with the cracking and the scrambling of the eggs. I went ahead and did it, and, and so you wouldn't have to go through that. Okay, I think we're ready for this to go in. It's at 305. That's hot enough for them right now. It's on a medium heat. I'll start it off with that. But let's see here. Pour into the pan. Get all the cheese that I got in there out. And all the egg out. Now we just let it sit. And let it cook. Until the bottom is set at some. I put some seasoning in it, salt, pepper, some garlic powder, and uh, now we'll, you can see it's starting to solidify on the eggs and on, on the edges of the eggs, and that will help when it goes into a more solid mode and we can do something with it. But we got <clears throat> we got other stuff to put in it that we're gonna put on it. Um, everybody knows a pizza ain't a pizza without some mozzarella cheese. I've got shredded uh, chef cheddar in there. I'm going to cut it down just a little bit. I don't want it to cook too fast. It has to cook slow. And it will, um, once it starts to solidify enough, I'll top it with the toppings. And you'll see what they are in here in just, just a few minutes. As a matter of fact, I can go ahead and put some of the toppings on. I've got bacon that I've cooked and put on I'm just going to sprinkle it on top now this like I said you could call it a frittata if you wanted but it's uh, I like to think of it more like a pizza because I'm doing it more like a pizza there we go now, I'm also going to do something different also with this. I meant to do it before I put that bacon in, but it's not too late to do it now. I got some oregano that I'm going to put a little bit on it to give it a little bit of Italian taste because I'm not using tomato sauce on it. You can smell that oregano. I like the smell of oregano. It's not a lot, just enough to give it a, an Italian type taste. So that it will uh, at least remotely resemble a bit of a pizza. But now I've got some mushrooms and some olives that I'm going to sprinkle all over the top and it's enough to now to where I can start doing these uh, I realize I used canned mushrooms but I don't have any fresh in the house so and I use the cans or other things because it is it does come in handy for some dishes. And what you just heard was the oven after it's preheated. All right, now let's see 
here if you get this. Because this is going to go in the oven. Now, what's a pizza without pepperoni? So there's a little bit of pepperoni going on it too. It's getting where we can almost put it in the oven now. It'll finish off in the oven and bake. That's one piece. I'm trying not to clump up two pieces. I want to get some kind of a little cupping going on on the pepperoni. Now, I could have added the pepperoni last, but I kind of like the cheese being on top of the pepperoni myself. So. But you do it the way you want to do it. I mean, it's your, going to be your pizza, so I say make it the way you want to make it. That ought to be enough pepperoni right there. And oh yeah, this is supper tonight. Let me clean up some of that right there. Alrighty. Next, we've got some mozzarella cheese. They're going on the top. Uh, I put the oven, I told you I was preheating it. I did it to 400. I don't know if I told you what temperature it was that I put it to. But it's 400. And let me turn that down just a tad more. Because I want it to cook slow on top here. I don't want it to cook it up. I want it to get in the oven and finish it off. Trying to get it out to the edge as much as possible. I don't know if I'm going to make it real far out there, but I'll get it as close as I can. I don't want to make a mess any more than I usually make. So, <clears throat> so this is recipe number nine in the series. If you're keeping track, the time. I hope you've enjoyed it. I have enjoyed bringing it to you. Now, I do believe that it is ready for the oven. If I can pick it up on the side here enough. Yep, that's ready for the oven. Now I'm going to take it. I'm going to turn this stove top off. And I shall put it in the oven straight from this pan because I used the Ninja cookware and it goes straight from the stove to the oven. I love that. If you don't have straight to the stove from, from the stove to the oven stuff, think about it. Don't do it if you got that plastic handles. Oh Lord, you know, you'll have a mess on your hands. You'd be done messed up your oven something fierce and it ain't going to do much good for your pan either. So, all right. We'll come back in just a little bit and show you what it looks like. So there is the finished product. Ended up being in the oven for six minutes at 400 degrees. And you can see how it's got a bit of a crust on the bottom, which is what we're looking for. It's fully cooked. The cheese is all melted. It's um, come together and it kind of looks like a pizza. I realize it looks like a frittata too, but hey, if you want to call it solidified cooked liquid eggs, I don't, it's up to you. Hey, it's your pizza, it's your frittata, whatever you want to call it, you call it. But that is it right there. And I hope that you will give this a try. And it has been wonderful bringing it to you. And... Um, I hope you enjoy it and let's not forget let's be careful out there so you've had a couple of bites what do you think oh my gosh it tastes like pizza all right that's what i was going for oh my god it's so good it does taste like pizza
I never, I really was doubting that it would. <laughs> I'm like, what? How can you do pizza out of eggs? eggs? Well, I'm glad Cheers. you like it. Alrighty, folks. I realize I already told y'all buy once, but I decided I'd let you see a taste test. So yep, appreciate yep. you tuning in. And this is Mike uh, here at Key Terrific Journey. And wishing y'all all a great day and let's be careful out there.